Hi guys, this is going to be part 3 of my Japan Tokyo haul. I did one which was on makeup items and then another one on miscellaneous stuff. And this particular video is going to be around baby stuff. So Japan and Tokyo in particular because we only went there this time. Um, it's an amazing place to bring kids to. They had a lot of amenities, they had a lot of facilities and they have a lot of cool baby products japan being japan they had a lot of stuff that you know gets you to think why haven't they made this mass market all across the world um, we specifically wanted to get stuff that we weren't able to get in singapore so let's get started um first of all i'm going to start off with this which is probably the coolest thing um as a mom this is the coolest thing that i have found there it is by the brand meiji which is quite popular in Singapore. It's milk formula but it is special because it's actually formula that comes in cubes that look like that. So you basically just have to carry the tubes along with you and add hot water and you're good to go. Each strip like this comes in five different tubes and each tube takes about 40 ml of water. This whole cube here will make you about 210 ml of milk. So it's very convenient to travel with other brand which is called Morinaga which is also a very famous Japanese brand. This is also so uh, something we got to kind of travel with it comes in packets so it's still powder form but it comes in little sachets like that which makes it so so convenient to travel with it's one of those things that why has no one brought this to Singapore yet I don't know um, we're not too particular about like the brands and whatever of milk that we feed him as long as like it's like a proper brand we are actually fine but yeah those two I found them to be very very cool okay so this big bag here, we went to this, we went to a few like famous baby places. The first one was Akachan Honpo. It's in like this industrial warehouse place, but it's so worth it to go and we got tax refunds as well, so it was a little bit cheaper. And we went to this other place, Nitsumatsia or something like that, but we went to a couple of places and we went to Baby Sarah. So those were the three places we went to. So these products were a combination from those places. On the way to Tokyo, Mika developed very bad like block nose so um, I kind of researched what we could do so I got these two. These are um, actually backups so this one is a strip that you put on the chest and it kind of it smells like medicated oil so I think it's meant to heat up like the chest area a little bit and also open up his nostrils. This is um, just a cream so it's a cream version of this so I did like a combination of these two. This is from the brand Pigeon which is my favorite baby brand and it's a Japanese brand. They Again, I've not seen this in Singapore yet. And, um, we are about to baby proof our house you guys because Mika's just, I think he's gonna he's gonna stand up like on his own very very soon. So Mim got a couple of stuff to just uh, put things around and again these things I've not seen them in Singapore yet. So this is just a strip, a roll of uh, like very hard uh, felt tape and you can use whatever strip that you want whatever length and put it around the edges so we have a lot of sharp edges and stuff like that so this is like it feels silicone but it's meant and it's meant for very hard surfaces so you put it together at the hard edges so we got quite a bit of that just in case and then this is a huge roll again similar to the previous one Okay, some cool things again. Maybe I haven't really been shopping for baby stuff, but this is something I got as a backup. It is an insect repellent um, bracelet which comes in different designs. So in case there's mosquito season, we can use that. And then there's this thing which I got. It's not in here now. It is a teething ring. Let me get it. It's called the teething bling and it looks like this. It looks like jade um, and it comes in this bluish color. It also has a green color as well well but I just wear it kind of like here um, and Mika is in an absolute teething terror right now he has bit my shoulder let me show you guys that's him right there like it's it's pretty intense so I thought that I would just rock this like whenever I go out and it doesn't look that bad actually so it looks pretty cool another insect repellent thingy but this is more of a patch not so much a bracelet to just put it all across the body or on the stroller and I thought it looked quite useful to just keep. Um, we got a whole bunch, as you can see here, of baby cotton buds. And this was recommended by my friend Janet. 
and uh, again by the brand Pigeon but I couldn't find it in Singapore. Um, these are very tiny cotton buds and the good thing about them is that they are a little bit sticky so um, it's very easy to take out whatever dirt uh, in the ear as well as around the ear. We got two of these so it's kind of in the range of this whole like block nose thingy so all this green stuff but this is probably the most invasive not so invasive but it's kind of invasive like as compared to the other two this is a nasal respiratory um suction thingy where you would put one end into the baby's nostril and then the other hand you use it to suck out whatever mucus and it actually collects in a little container there so i tried using this on him he didn't enjoy it and um, i'm just gonna keep this as backup in case we ever need it onto this mickey house mickey house mickey mouse bag which we got at baby saras which is super cute we got lots of i don't know what these are called these are basically like um, Japanese pajamas and they are for a hundred cm so right now he's already able to wear things that are about 80 to 90 cm the pants look like that oh my gosh if he ever becomes this big I'll be <laughs> so it's very very thin as you can see perfect 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 for Singapore weather it's just so cool and it's got little sharks on it and then the top looks like this so it's very very cute and again just very thin. This material, it looks like the Issei Miyaki pleats, please. I just realized that. Maybe that's where he gets his um, inspiration from. So it's like pleated almost a little bit. The shorts come like that and then the top looks like this. So cute. This is a frog. And then the other one is a blue pair of pants and then a Bahama looking oh it has Mount Fuji on it how cute is that super thin material very very cool nice top like that so I really like it oh this one has a sailor thing on it how cute these are cool so um you never see any of these in Singapore so these are basically attachments that you can attach to the top of your um, baby wet wipes for example the pigeon baby wipes which I always use I really like this because it's the right amount of wetness but it doesn't have like a closure so it's just much easier to kind of take it out like that it's quite, it's quite strong in there so there you go push this is a cute one so this had like different animals on it and then I got another one which has Toy Story on it which looks really really cute as well so it's a long tube of bubble like I love playing bubbles with him uh, it's just a thing I think secretly I actually enjoy blowing the bubbles myself but <laughs> a minion float so he uses this type of float the float that he's using right now is bright pink because they didn't have a blue or whatever and so we saw this and minions are one of my favorite characters and this one has a wheel as well so he really loves using anything with wheels so we thought we would get this for him and i can't believe mim got this but he did <laughs> this is a tiny backpack and it has one of those like things that you can hold on to your child so even if you don't want to use this you can just use the little backpack when he can walk but seriously how cute is that so we decided to get this for him um, it is a little red truck it's just a nice little toy car and i like that it has little holes here so if i want to hook this up to his stroller i can um we went to tokyo dome which had a really cool um they call that indoor playing area so he really enjoyed himself and there was a store that sold um, some souvenirs and I got this for him it just has an M on it and it has a little monkey monkeys are my favorite um, animals so this just looks so it looks so cute it looks so delicate <laughs> so I like him. In Akachan Hompo there was you know we are big Mickey House fans uh, but we didn't 
we didn't see anything nice from Mickey House that we wanted to get but they do have another like brand a sister brand or something it's called Hot Biscuits so we got him these pairs of um, sandals uh, and they look so cute they are like the Mickey House uh, they have the Mickey House um, colors and all that so we got uh, yeah, these shorts that look really really cool and they are just very airy they look like very summery type of shorts so this were cool. This one, we got this which is called the Jean Bay. He has a few Jean Bays because a few of our friends gave it and stuff. And um, it's a Japanese traditional clothes for kids to wear uh, when it's summertime. They have a winter Jean Bay also, I think. But we got this specifically because we were meeting our friend Yuri, who's a crazy Snoopy lover. So we thought we would put him in this. So this was quite cute another pair of shorts that look really really cute like how cute is that mm, so cute and it has a little like a little crocodile at the back um oh this cap or this hat is super cute as well it's like it's got like nice fluffy ears like seriously i think this is these clothes i think i got it more for myself not so much for him nice simple t-shirt um, and this is cute because it has got some detail some patchwork and a button there and a little tortoise at the bottom We've got this one as well which is like a little I don't know a little seal with a ball and like that and how can I forget this so this I I just had to get it it was actually his current size so but I just had to get it because <laughs> you guys look it's a watermelon <laughs> it's so cute i think this is like swimwear or something because it's made up of like towel uh, material but we don't really care like we've, there was one day where he was going around tokyo in a swimsuit but this is so cute and i just had to get it because he would be our little watermelon when he wears this okay so basically that's that um those are the baby related stuff that we got in um tokyo why am i holding my boobs like that um but yeah we got i think most of these items are stuff that we couldn't get in singapore except for like you know the clothes and all that but um we had really fun we had a really fun time shopping there so if you're there i highly recommend those three places um i think the first one um the the, the best that we went to was definitely akachan hompo and then you've got nitsu Nitsumatsuya. I'll link them at the in the description box below. And the third one was Baby's Rust, which is the same as Toys R Us, but it's much, it has a lot more things than our Toys R Us in Singapore. So those were the stuff that we got. I hope you guys enjoyed all these Tokyo hauls that I did. Um, and if you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.